All right, I'm ready. All right. This is the box. Okay, we got a triangle. Could this be a circle? Called it. Damn, they even pulled out the X. Never would have thought it. A Square? Chrono Trigger remake confirmed by Squaresoft? I wish. This is dope. We, together, we were destined for something great. Yeah. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the, I don't know, that thing, that magic. <laughs> I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You sounding more and more like a snee eye yitch every day. My job, my score, get your own. We should talk about work. We out here gangbanging like it's 91. We all love banks. Get me a DJ. Give me a hand with these bodies. This cannot be traced back to me. Champagne, anyone? Smash things. So now what? Okay. I mean, it's kind of no brainer. It's like one of the biggest games of all time. Not crazy excited about that, though. Yo, Neil, what's up? Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Holy shit. All right, well, maybe I should reinstall Grand Theft Auto V on my PlayStation 4. I like money.
It was great. Yo, Jim, what's up? Off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console? Grand Theft. Hey, Toaster. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years. When we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 marks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. <sighs> Give me. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Sounds good. Captured from PS5 systems. Hero's just someone who doesn't give up. Your dad said that. He was right. Spider Man? Spider Man 2? Oh. Go be a hero, Miles. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. That's so dope. Holiday 2020 this year. Nice. I've never been a really big fan of Gran Turismo, but I know it's pretty huge to a lot of people. キャンペーンモードを中心にしたグランツリスモになっていると思います。ぜひ楽しみにしていてください。This is definitely a huge game for PlayStation. Not really my thing. Oh fuck, it looks beautiful though. Oh. This is all in game? Holy shit. Man, I might buy this game. Wow, the shade, the real driving simulator. <sighs> yeah, same deal.
I've never driven high-end cars before. Is that a thing, shifting with your thumbs on the steering wheel? That looks so fucking cool. Why can't all cars do that? Okay. Something a little more fun looking. A little whimsical. It's gonna be like Knack or something. Knack 3. Ratchet and Clank? Oh, yes! You alright back there? No way. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. Ratchet and Clank is like my favorite 3D platformer, period. Right, the ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. That's two out of three games shown so far by Insomniac. How do I steer this thing? Assuming Insomniac's making this. It's their IP. The dimensions are weakening considerably. <laughs> oh, yes! I need this right now. Well, it is certainly not good. Where are we? It's me. For real. For real, Neil. Get off me, ship! Ratchet. We are too late. Ratchet? Who? What? Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, a brand new, full length, interdimensional adventure built from the ground up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able to do before, like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly, or put ray trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien worlds are filled with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all-new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the DualSense controller's enhanced feedback. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. Yes! Did you see that? The sound is so good in this too. I will never get used to that. Hey, to break reality. Don't let him get to the boss. It dumped in the various radio resurface after all these years just to try and take over the universe again. Yeah! I kinda wish he was doing a worse job! He must have more planned than he that's what I'm afraid of. 
This is all pretty classic Ratchet and Clank right now. That looks so cool. That like teleport dimension thing. Instant buy. Did they say it was going to be a launch title? I don't think so. This is the tech demo, I think, that they showed off. <laughs> wow. That's clearly pretty early. They didn't show a whole lot, but that still looks dope. That looks so good. R.I.P. Humans. Homeless robots, alright. Sure. Looks pretty. Please, I hope you play as that cat. Main character cat, I'm in. No cats! I saw that no cat sign. That poor cat. He just wants to be loved. Aw, oh, good boy. Oh my god, I think the cat is the main character! <laughs> Oh my god, that purring sound. I'm in. They got me. I'm in. Yeah, and like new titles. Stuff they haven't even like teased. Alright, the technical stuff, sure. I'm not gonna lie, I like this controller. It got a lot of hate when it was revealed. I like it a lot. I think it looks good.
3D audio, nice. Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision a lot better. It's got a ton of This guy reminds me of the guy that collects laser discs in SLC Punk. It's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. Will let us tell stories, make worlds, create gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. Horizon 2? Maybe? Worldwide didn't make Horizon. I don't think. I can't remember who made Horizon. Housemark. Over and over, I relive my first moments on this alien planet. Crash. The attack. My death. The crash. The attack. My death. This is Groundhog Day. Trapped in this endless cycle. Even death is no escape. Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different, as if changing. This world is becoming part of me, infecting my mind, my memories. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope this this feels like a kojima game my only choice is to keep fighting to keep looking for answers my only hope is to break the cycle before the cycle I think I'm, maybe I'm remembering wrong, but I think Housemark is usually the company that makes like the twin stick shooter games. This looks like a big departure for them. Maybe it is a twin stick shooter, and you just couldn't really tell from that gameplay, though. Look cool. Pokemon! Little Big Planet? I like, I love Little Big Planet, don't get me wrong, but the ones that weren't made by Media Molecule aren't really that good. This looks pretty dope though. But Sumo was the one that made the newer ones, and uh, they weren't that great. The Vita one was alright, I guess. They made that. This looks cool though. Definitely feels very little big planety. They dropped a little big planet title though. Unless that wasn't the title.
Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. Look be like a fun multiplayer game. It's fucking beautiful. Sackboy, a big adventure. Oh, it should have gone all peewee and just made it Sackboy's big adventure. Wipeout? Maybe? No, I don't know. This is some extreme sports type of game. I assume. Yeah. Oh, uh, if it's like Destruction Derby ish, I might be into this. Is it a fighting game mixed with Destruction Derby? It looks interesting. I need to play it to know if I'd actually like it. We're ready to see more, and not just a vertical slice of it. Like, I love Twisted Metal, and it has a sort of Twisted Metal feel to it. The third person action fighting whatever part of it, I don't know how I feel about that. Destruction All-Stars. Alright. Kind of a lame title. It's a very forgettable title, I think. Hello everyone, my name is Josh Greer, and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. So please enjoy. Yeah, if that actually still happened these days, Neil. Okay, I'm already into this one. This looks cute as hell. Yep, I'm in. They got me. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. It's sort of got a Pikmin vibe to it. Those little guys. I'm 100% in on this game. I'm in. This looks awesome. Kina, Bridge of Spirits. Nice. I should keep some notes so I know what games I need to buy. All of them, that's what.
You ever feel like you're just waiting for a sign? No. To do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. This is furry Maybe persona. It's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, might as well jump. <laughs> Toaster. This just sounds like a a teen drama. It probably is. I don't know. I just see some gameplay, but it looked interesting. That was clearly all cinematic. I have no idea what that is. Hi, I'm Lorne Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. New Odd World game? Okay. The Oddworld series is really good, so. They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. Language. All right, I'll, I'll probably look into that a little more. I like the odd world games. ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ、ぜひ
Alright. Looks neat. There's been no, like, real release dates yet in any of these games. Just... Windows. I guess they didn't release the release date of the PlayStation 5, so maybe that's why. No Man's Sky 2. This year? I need to see more of that. That was very vague. I like Gearbox. This looks pretty neat. It's kind of generic -y looking right now, but... It could be cool. It could be cool. Godfall. Holiday 2020. They should have just stole that line from Yoda. They didn't say yet, Toaster. I 
I assume we'll see it sometime in this video. Alright. Sort of gives me a journey feeling. Journey is a great game. And Neil. <laughs> Alright, give us something else big. Hitman? It was always gonna end like this. All your hard work. All your sacrifice only sped up the process. Hitman Slender Man. <laughs> Hitman 3. I have never played an actual Hitman game. Just that weird puzzle game that they released a few years ago. Hakanabrak here from I Hitman Go. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract. In his They're pretty unfun. This is also They're popular. the conclusion for the Wall of Assassination Trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on Do you think he dies that little soul patch? In Dubai. Enjoy. It's a different color than the rest of his facial hair. He's no he's no Guy Fieri. Honestly, even visually, it doesn't look as like as impressive as the other games so far. Like I I could believe that's a PlayStation Four game. It probably is a PlayStation Four game that's just getting ported. Uh, I don't, I don't have it nearby. I didn't know there was gonna be instructions. All right. My kids will be into this. This looks pretty fun. I will definitely get all the cute games, yes. I recognize this art style, but I don't know what from. Thanks, Toaster.
Aw, oh, Neil. Thank you so much. This looks cute. So I don't really know what it is, but it looks cute. Hey, what's up, Sedate? See, I don't know if you know, uh, if you saw, like, that bundle that got released for the Bale Project, that, like, crazy $1,500, or 1500 game bundle for $5, but one of the games is called Sedate Me. Little Devil Inside. This looks cool. So I don't really know what it's about. Or really what the gameplay is 100%, but... What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Is this... Y'all are not ready for this. Is this not... Is that CGI? Or just a really bad camera. I ain't trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place got a drink. <laughs> oh, sports. <laughs> Sports games are fine for like a little while, but not really my thing. I should have turned my volume down. <laughs> you can be sweaty! Strawberry game. What? All right, guys. I need more bits because I have more games to buy. Amazing, aren't they? Half bug, half snack. A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful. I thought he was gonna eat him. <laughs> Welcome to the island of bug snacks. I don't think I'm okay with this. It's <laughs> walking ribs, centipede ribs. Okay, this looks awesome. Snacks. My invitation is open. Come join me on the island of Spice. <laughs> Liz, I am. Um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it. <laughs> uh, one's on fire. Oh, again? Well. More games to buy.
Hi everyone. Thank you. Oh, Shuhei. Today for this very special event. Give me the news, Shuhei. Before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. Horizon 2? Uncharted 5? No, it's not Uncharted 5. God of War 2? What? Destiny is a next-gen first-person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision, what Arkane is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay, a surreal player-driven story smashed together. Demon Souls was the original game in the Souls series. It was only on PlayStation 3. I'm assuming that's a sequel. Didn't look necessarily like it was a remake. It is also my favorite game in that in the out of all of them. Demon Souls, then Bloodborne for me. So I'm fucking in. I'm so fucking in. Okay. This was cool. Like the style. It's cold. Nope, you're ready to loop. Damn. From Bethesda. So it's gonna be glitchy as all hell. But awesome. Time loops fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never ending party where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn mother. They still haven't actually shown the box or the release date or the price. Every loop I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector, and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times. But eventually, inevitably, I will break this 
fucking loop. Didn't they already show this game like 20 minutes ago? <laughs> Another. We got another Groundhog Day game. This looks cool though. Yeah. I agree with that. It looks a lot better. We're some more action more fun. We didn't get to see enough of the other one, really, though. I don't like watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. Wow. She needs help. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to the fairies for her father. It was hard work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest they fell. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? Silent Hill? They're coming. Who is? <gasps> Sequel to that werewolf game, which name I can't remember, maybe? Is this Castlevania? Village. So this is the original game. Oh my god! Chris? Sorry, Ethan. Why? As soon as I saw the eight pop up, my my heart sank. Wow. Resident Evil like kind of flipped through my mind when I was thinking Silent Hill, but then I was like, no, this doesn't even seem like the right time period. More kitties.
Cute game confirmed. Uh, Gravity... Ru Gravity Rush? Is that what that game's called? Pragmata. She doesn't even have a helmet on. You're a bad person. Not protected at all. Freedom. Our freedom. Alright. I want to see more of that. Show with that Naughty Dog logo. This sounds like Uncharted already. Give me that Naughty Dog logo. I need it. The old ones. No, it's not. Perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities turned to graves. In their place. Is this actually Horizon 2? <laughs> I think everything's Horizon 2. The new dangers. It is Horizon 2! It's such a good game. What's crazy is that Gorilla was like the port company. Well, they made the ports of games. And then they made Horizon. At Horizon Forbidden West. 
We're continuing Elga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands. Yeah, they did kill zone, I guess. Massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. <laughs> Jan Bart Van Bleek, I trust him. <laughs> I think there's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and storyteller, this is incredibly exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences. This is so good. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Expect the unexpected. And I for one can't wait. You can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about It still throws me off seeing Bungie in a PlayStation event. Uh, well, Bungie didn't make made Halo initially, but then they went on to make Destiny. They didn't show a Bungie game yet. I don't think. Just show it to me! What? That is some futuristic looking hardware right there. Yeah, this is, looks nothing like people were showing off in leaks. Alright, two USB ports in the front. It's big. Pretty large. Look at that controller next to it. Seems big anyway. Maybe it's just the angle. <laughs> oh, it's not too USB in the front. The digital edition. Wow. Releasing an all digital edition. I will not be buying that. It looks better though. It's a nicer looking console. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation features and power. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, and we've put years of work into making them happen. We want you to enjoy the unique benefits of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year, and we have tons more to share. Welcome to PlayStation 5.
Yeah, my PC doesn't have a disk drive either. I don't collect games on PC, though. I don't have a PC games collection that I care about. If there is a huge, huge price difference, maybe. That'd be the only thing that might convince me. <laughs> Thanks, Toaster. Man, that Spider-Man 2 reveal was so good. Twenty Marvel, we're getting an Avengers trailer right now. Or not? Is that it? Is that it? I guess that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, be sure to like the video. And please consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. Remember, you can catch me live most nights at twitch.tv slash defybydefault, and you can follow me on Twitter at defybydefault as well. See you next time.